Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chinese Pod. I'm Joy, and I'm Joe. Today, we're going to talk about 成语 with numbers, and these numbers are pretty big in terms of digits. We've got nine. That's 九 third tone, and ten, which is 十 second tone. Okay, so nine and ten. What would you think about if I say nine or ten? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, like sounds like very like bigger numbers, and generally like a higher percentage, maybe especially when we have it used in like with, together with other numbers or talking about proportions. Exactly. So it's going to be about big numbers or things very likely to happen. Let's check out the 成语 now. Okay, so I have the first 成语 for you that uses the number nine, which is 九 and that goes 九牛一毛 Okay, so 牛 is a cow. So we have nine cows, and then one plus 毛 which is hair. Exactly. So 毛 you can use for hair or fur. But let me give you something interesting. So you know, in the West, we have those cows that people milk,、mm-hmm. those patterned cows. Chinese cows are water buffalo. Oh, you mean the ones with the horns in front of a wagon? Yeah, in front of a wagon,、oh. or like in the farm. So.、Mm-hmm. When we talk about Chinese cows, those are the kind of neo. And I noticed one more thing that I'm sure you can explain, which、okay. is the tone change. Oh, you mean the one with one? Okay, so one is normally pronounced as e when we only talk about the number one. But if this is paired up with a word that has the second tone, then the e changes to the fourth tone and it becomes e. So here it's not e mao; it is e mao. Exactly. So, 九牛一毛 We've got nine cows, and if there oh nine water buffalo. <laughs> if there are nine water buffalo and there's only one hair,、mm-hmm. in terms of comparison, what do you think that 成语 might mean? Like something big and then something very tiny. So, we talk about pro- probabilities maybe here.、Mm-hmm. So. Something that is unlikely, maybe, or very small, generally speaking. Very small. Okay. So insignificant. For example,、oh. an insignificant amount.、Uh, okay. Let's say, for instance, this guy is quite wealthy.、Mm-hmm. So one、um, hundred yuan is not going to be a lot of money for him. Okay. So let's say we all go eat, and he pays for everybody、uh, street food, and it's a hundred yuan for a bunch、mm-hmm. of people. So we could say. 这些钱只是九牛一毛 Oh, so this amount of money for him is just like one hair on nine buffaloes, like nothing. Exactly. So, okay, so if I want to be, for example, very modest about my Chinese abilities, could I say something like, "Oh, the amount I've learned so far is very small, like compared to all the things there are." Yeah, sure. So if you wanted to say. What I know is very little, but I could be learning so much more.、Mm-hmm. I could say, 我知道的只是九牛一毛、mm-hmm. 还有很多可以学 Oh, so yeah, I still have a lot to learn. Exactly. Like everyone, I guess. And which is the case for all subjects.、Mm-hmm. And I noticed that you put this only is in front, right? 只是 So that's very commonly used with this Chengyu.、Mm, I think so because、okay. it's a small amount. So this is only a small amount,、mm-hmm. and then that could be a standalone sentence, or you can add more explanation、okay. after. Okay. So our next Chengyu has three pretty big numbers. That's 八 eight, 九 nine, and 十 ten. So that one is 十之八九 Ah, okay. So here we have. Zhi in between or after the ten, and zhi is basically another word for de, so it means off or out of. So now we have it together with ten, so it's out of ten, and then ba jiu, so it's eight or nine out of ten. Exactly. So it's now it's talking about likelihood, right? Yeah, that's right. This time it is exactly talking about proportions.、Mm-hmm. So the literal translation is. Out of ten, it's going to be eight or nine. So that's literally eighty or ninety percent. So we could use it for probability. For instance, a chance of rain. In a、oh. full sentence, I can say, 明天十之八九会下雨 Oh, so eighty to ninety percent tomorrow it will be raining. Yes. So I'll definitely take my umbrella tomorrow. Exactly.、Okay. Now we can. Hello. 
We are so glad that you're enjoying this video so far, but you're not getting the full lesson here. The full lesson and the rest of this video are available on our site, ChinesePod.com. Give it a try and see how much more we have to offer. We have exercises, expanded examples, vocabulary, and downloadable material. You cannot get that here on YouTube. So visit our website today, enter GRACE as the promo code, and get 20% off our premium subscriptions. I'll see you at ChinesePod.com. But hurry, only the first 300 subscribers are allowed to redeem this deal. Use promo code GRACE for 20% off your entire premium subscription and launch your real learning experience. Chinese, but Chinese.